Hey there, this is Zahid once again with our second video in the employer's journey on Brighton Monday. In our last video, we visited www.brightermonday.co.ke and registered for an account. By now, an account manager from Brighton Monday should have already contacted you and vetted the details of your company, as well as establish your recruitment needs. In this video, we're going to log in and even try to change the password provided. It is always advisable to change the password and keep it safe to ensure privacy of your user account. First, we need to visit the Brighton Monday homepage, so let's do that now. And then again, as before, we need to click on the Employers tab. You can see on the right hand side, there are fields where we need to input our login details. Let's do that now. Once we've ensured we have the right login details, let's log in. So you can see that if the details are put in correctly, we should be redirected to the dashboard of our accounts. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of that dashboard. Note that you can now buy credits on Brighton Monday. Credits are added to your account after payment is confirmed. It's only then that you, that you can post jobs on your advertiser centre. The next step, of course, is to post an ad, which we'll go through later. Once you've done this, the Manage Ads tab is where you're able to access and manage them as you please. Applications for advertised positions will be directed to your advertiser account. From the dashboard, you can click on the Job Applications tab to view and download resumes. It's at this point you start shortlisting. You can even create your own candidate pools. This pool is to save some of the shortlisted candidates' resumes. You can use this pool whenever you need to hire for the same position in future. This is this tab, candidate pools. The tab at the end is where you book credits and shows a populated overview of the orders purchased. This one, the orders tab. So, after this brief, brief walkthrough of the dashboard, let's change our password to increase the security of our account. To do this, we need to click on the arrow pointing downward at the top right of the account. This should be next to the picture icon. We then need to click on the account settings button. You can see here there are two tabs on this page. One tab indicates the account details that you can see. These were the ones that we inputted earlier. The second tab tells us that we can change our password. In order to do this, we need to enter our current password. And in the second, the second field, we need to enter the new password that we want to change it to. And to be 100% sure, we need to confirm that password. So once we're sure of the account, detail, the account details, we can click update password. So, as you can see, there's a little pop-up here showing that our password has now been updated. We're then required to log in again with the new password details to ensure security. Let's see that now. And here we are again back at our dashboard. So I hope this guide, uh, this guideline is useful in helping you and now shows you how to log into your account successfully and enjoy the different functionality that Brighton Monday has to offer. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to add credits and how to book orders on your advertising centre. I'm really excited to show you that. Visit brightonmonday.co.ke today and get started. Thanks for listening.